What's up guys, my name is Ace, and it's finally time for an updated top 10 weapons slash builds in Modern Warfare 3. This is something I haven't done in quite some time. Many new guns have been added. There's also been plenty of weapon balancing since the last time I made a video like this. And before we start getting into the list, I just want to point out a few things. First off, it was very difficult to narrow this down to just 10 guns. Honestly, I could easily do like a top 20, and there are many guns that could easily be swapped out with many of the guns I put on this list. But I did want to keep things reasonable here so it's not like a 45 minute long video. And also, I decided I wanted to mix in a little bit of variety as well. Like I wanted to make sure I was sharing my favorite sniper build, even though I'm not sniping very often, and there are certain guns that didn't quite make this list that I use much more than I would ever use my sniper rifle. So that sort of brings me to my final point before we get into the list here, and that is, this list is also just based on my personal preferences. These are the guns that I'm enjoying the most at the moment, and it's totally fine if you disagree with any of these. If you don't find your favorite gun or what you consider to be the best gun in the game right now on this list, it doesn't mean it's a bad gun. In fact, I may also love that gun. I just had to weed a bunch out in order to narrow this down to 10. And with that out of the way, let's get into the first gun on my list here. This is the Rival 9. This gun has always been solid throughout the entire life cycle of this game. It has caught a few nerfs here or there over time, so I'd say it's not quite as good as it used to be. That's one of the reasons I have it pretty far back on my list here. But in saying that, it's still an excellent gun, and this is the current build that I've been enjoying using. So with this, we're using that ECS Required or Suppressor, since we get some additional benefits outside of just being a suppressor, and the only downside is a laser that isn't actually visible despite what the menu says. On top of that, we have the Rival C Clear Shot Barrel, the 40 Round Mag, the Rival Vice Rear Grip, and the MTZ Marauder Stock. And with this, you can see we've got a pretty accurate gun on our hand. It will zigzag on us a little bit, but we've improved that nicely. Our aim down sight speed is still great at 196 milliseconds. Same thing with our sprint out times, very solid at 123 milliseconds. We're also boosting our ranges and our bullet velocity with this setup, and it's a stealth build, so we will be off the radar when firing. Then let's get into the next one on my list here. This is the SVA 545. I feel like this gun has kind of flown under the radar for a long time. It's always been a good gun in my opinion. Maybe not top tier or anything, but it's always been very good. And recently it got a pretty significant boost to its damage ranges, which I think brings it forward into the limelight a little bit more. And I did want to make sure I was sharing that in this video. So with this build, we're using the NT Quietus Suppressed Barrel, the SL Skeletal Vertical Underbarrel, the Mark III Reflector Optic, the main V6 stock, and then finally the Citadel rear grip. And with this one, we've got a very accurate gun on our hands, super easy to control. Our aim down sight speed is incredibly fast for an assault rifle at 179 milliseconds. Our sprint out speed is also pretty fast for an AR at least at 169 milliseconds. We also have a decent aim down sight trace speed. And while we are reducing our range values by 20%, that's okay, especially after the buff, since we still get a very impressive range and time to kill profile with this setup. And this is one I just wanted to make sure I was sharing in this video, largely because I don't see it used very much, and I do consider it to be one of the better guns in the game currently, as long as you're fairly consistent with hitting those first two shots when you pull the trigger. After that, we're gonna move on to a gun that I included on this list mainly for variety's sake. I will be honest, I don't use this one quite as much as many of the others on the list, but out of the battle rifle category, I do consider the SOA Subverter to be the best battle rifle in the game currently after the Bass B nerfs. And I actually did make a slight adjustment to my stealth build on this, and I wanted to share that in today's video. So with this, we're using the Shadow Strike Suppressor combined with the Dozer 90 Long Barrel. We have the SL Skeletal Vertical Under Barrel, the 30 Round Mag, and then finally the STT-88 Precision Stock. And with this one, my previous stealth build had a much better aim down sight speed, but the recoil was much more difficult to control, so I decided to slow things down a little bit with this one. So our aim down sight speed is 308 milliseconds, which is quite slow, and you will have to compensate by slowing down your gameplay a bit. Our sprint out time is improved slightly from the base, but still not great at 258 milliseconds. We do get a 10% range boost with that barrel, as well as a boost to our bullet velocity. And this gun's just incredibly consistent at killing very, very fast, as long as you keep yourself within that maximum damage range. So if you're somebody that doesn't like rushing around too crazy and you like playing a little bit more methodically, you should be able to find a ton of success with this particular build. Now, let's get back into the SMG category, and I had to include the brand new SMG that came with Season 3. This is the FJX Horus. In my opinion, this SMG is awesome if you can get a handle on the recoil. The recoil definitely holds it back, but once you get a good feel for it, I just find it to be such a good gun at close to mid-ranges. And this is my current favorite build to use with this gun. So with this, we have the ECS Required or Suppressor, the Martis Heavy Barrel, the FTAC SP-10 Angled Grip, the Lopper LXD Stock, and then finally the Lull 9M Grip. 
And with this one, it does get the recoil under control fairly nicely, although there's always gonna be a decent amount of recoil with this that you have to compensate for. Our aim down sight speed is really solid at 194 milliseconds. Our sprint out time is incredibly fast at just 93 milliseconds. We got a solid aim walking speed with this as well, and we're off the radar when firing with this. So it's just an excellent stealth build for getting around the map and just as a general all around SMG setup. As for the next gun I've got on my list, let's get into my favorite sniper build in the game currently, and this is my Moors all around build. Now this is the exact same build that I shared in my gun guide just recently for the Moors, but I figured I might as well show it to you guys anyway here. So we've got the downfall light barrel, the HVP anti-material ammo, which guarantees a one shot kill anywhere in the body at any range. We have the Icarus light stock, the quick bolt, as well as the CNTR six rear grip. And if you combine this with mag holster or the gunner vest, we actually get a rate of fire of 64 rounds per minute, which is pretty fast for a one shot kill anywhere in the body gun. Our aim down sight speed is also very, very solid at 475 milliseconds. Our sprint out time, not really relevant, but we have improved it nicely with this. Our flinch resistance is also cut down nicely. So this makes it a nice balanced build where we don't have to worry about flinch nearly as much. And while we are hurting our bullet velocity and it's just 751 meters per second, this is more than enough for the vast majority of 6v6 gunfights you'll find yourself in. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't snipe that often, but when I do, this is definitely my go-to at the moment. Now, moving on to the more normal guns in the game, let's get into my BP-50 build, because this has been one of my favorite assault rifles since they added it to the game. Even after they dialed back the power of it a little bit, it's still one of the better guns in the game. And the setup that I really like using here is the LHT 200 barrel, the Shadow Strike Suppressor, the SL Skeletal Vertical Underbarrel, the Moat 40 stock, and the TRS-T4 grip tape. Because with this one, you can see it kicks basically just straight upwards with very few gaps between those bullets. This recoil is so easy to control and predict. Our aim down sight speed is very impressive for an assault rifle at 209 milliseconds. Our sprint out time is also solid at 168 milliseconds. We have a great aim walking speed at 3.6 meters per second. We are hurting our range value by 10%, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for this particular build since I like being aggressive anyway and trying to keep myself more close quarters. And as an all-arounder, this one is excellent. I really enjoy using it. I don't have an optic on there, but I like the iron sights on the BP-50 as well. And I've managed to find a ton of success with this setup, even after the various nerfs. As for the next gun on my list that I've really been enjoying lately, this is the HRM-9. And once again, I will be sharing my stealth build with you guys. You might notice that trend. I really like stealth builds, but that just suits my playstyle really well. So with this, we're using that integrated suppress barrel, which also gives you an incredible iron sight. So I don't use an optic with my suppress build anymore. We have the SL skeletal vertical under barrel to take care of that initial vertical recoil because that can be quite high. We have the folding stock on here, the PCS-90 assault grip, and then finally the 50 round drum magazine. And with this one, you can see we really nicely improved the recoil, although there is still a fair amount of initial recoil that you have to be aware of and ready for. Our aim down sight speed is not bad considering we have a 50 round drum on this at 235 milliseconds. Our sprint out time is great for an SMG at 106 milliseconds. And of course, we're staying off the radar when we fire with this one. And this is the type of build I really like if I'm trying to carry a not so great team because I don't have to stop and constantly reload. I can keep up my momentum with that 50 round drum and just keep killing over and over and over again. It's got an excellent time to kill potential. I absolutely love that iron sight as well. It makes it very easy to acquire your targets and stay on target even with that recoil. And just in general, I've been finding tons of success with the HRM9 recently. Next, we're actually gonna dive into the pistol category. Even though this pistol can be used very effectively as a primary, this is the Renetti with the Jack Ferocity kit on it. Just in case you guys missed it, I made a video on this about a week ago. This kit saw a massive hidden buff where it no longer reduces your damage values like it used to. And this means we have an extremely consistent five shot kill potential for a 280 millisecond time to kill out to about 45 meters, which is an incredible range even for something like an assault rifle. And yet this is a pistol. Now it is interesting in Warzone, they fixed this damage bug that appeared, but in multiplayer, it's still untouched. So I still think this is bug and they just overlooked it at this point. I guess I could be wrong on this, but this just doesn't seem right how good this is currently. But I guess we may as well take advantage of it while it's here. And this is the particular setup that I'm really enjoying using. We've got the ELR Blackfire Compensator, the Cronin Mini Pro Optic, the Ravage 8 Stock, 
the Jack Ferocity kit, of course, and then finally the 50 round drum magazine, but sometimes I'll actually swap that out for a 30 round magazine. It just depends on the build that I'm putting it on and what I'm looking for with that build. Sometimes I want a bit more movement speed out of it, so I will go with 30 rounds. But with this particular one, you can see the recoil is nicely improved. It's still got a fair amount of recoil, but it's not as bad as the base. We're killing incredibly fast with it. Our aim down sight speed is 243 milliseconds with the 50 round drum on it. Our sprint out time, while it is slightly slower than the base, it's still ridiculously fast at just over 100 milliseconds. And our bullet velocity is not bad at all for a pistol at 413 meters per second. So with this one, I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried it yet since this hidden buff took place, give it a shot. I think you'll be very, very impressed with it because it outperforms so many of the primary weapons in this game. But with that, we can get into number two on my list, and this is actually my current favorite SMG in the game. This is the Ram 9, and unlike most of my other builds, I don't run this one suppressed. So this is actually my new accuracy build with this, and with it, we've got the trebuchet brake, the FTAC SP10 angle grip, the HVS 3.4 pad, the recon comb, and then finally the 40 round magazine. And with this one, you can see it's quite accurate, especially for those initial several shots that you fire. They kick almost straight upwards, and there isn't much of a gap between those shots. So as long as you're killing before it starts to zigzag, this gun is very accurate and easy to control. Our aim down sight speed, unfortunately, just got nerfed a little bit with the Ram 9. So it's currently sitting at 236 milliseconds with this class setup, which isn't amazing for an SMG, but it's also not horrible. It's still very manageable. And our sprint out time is also nicely improved with this setup at 130 milliseconds. And I've just been able to find a ton of success with this. This has actually kind of become my go-to. If I end up in a really tough, sweaty lobby, and I just feel like I need to compete and win my gunfights, this is the gun I'm often going to be swapping to, because it allows me to get around the map very quickly, while maintaining great accuracy and an amazing time to kill potential. In saying that though, there is still one gun that I would put ahead of the Ram 9 on my list, and currently, I do consider this to be like the best all-arounder in the game. This is the MCW with the Jack Raven kit specifically. Now with the base MCW, they practically nerfed that gun into the ground. I would never consider using that anymore. But with the kit, it's still very, very good because it maintains its headshot damage profile. And therefore, we're capable of cutting it down to a four-shot kill by just mixing one headshot in with body shots in the maximum damage range, which is really easy to do. And with my preferred setup at the moment, I've got the SL Crater Heavy Barrel, the Shadow Strike Suppressor, the FTAC SP10 Angled Grip, the RB Rapid Strike Grip, and then finally the kit itself. And with this, you can see the recoil is quite manageable, easy to control. It might not be the most accurate gun in the game, but it's still very easy to manage and control, even at longer ranges. Our aim down sight speed is pretty standard for an AR at 242 milliseconds. We've got a nice improvement to our sprint out time here. We're of course staying off the radar with that suppressor. And I also quite like the iron sights with this, so I don't really feel the need to use an optic on it. And this particular setup just really suits my playstyle well. It may not be the best gun in the game if you like hanging back and taking really long range gunfights. I'm sure you can find a more accurate, better build for those scenarios. But as a solid setup for close to mid range engagements, which are going to be the vast majority of engagements I run into, this build is just so incredibly consistent and easy to use. And at the moment, it is my favorite all arounder. And with that, that is finally going to wrap it up for my top 10 setups that I'm currently enjoying in Modern Warfare 3. Just a reminder, if you didn't see your gun on this list, it doesn't mean it sucks. Like I said, I struggled to narrow this down to 10, and I could easily swap out several of these guns with a different one and still consider it to be an amazing top 10 list. So this is where I'm curious to hear from you guys in those comments down below. In the game's current state, what are some of your favorite guns to use at the moment? Are they guns that I had on my list today, or are they outside of this list? Is it something else? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.